for Charlemagne. What destroys Charlemagne is the way that his bosses, the company he works for, sees or perceives the way that the public perceives the shit. If they feel like the public perceives it as, oh, Charlemagne's a fucking rapist, then they're going to fire him to save face. But if they see that, all right, this bitch is lying, whatever like that, like, how many bitches have done shit in their past and fucking regretted the shit? Statutory rape is statutory fucking rape, period, point blank, that's what the fuck it is. The case has already been had, it is what the fuck it is. But let's talk about cases. The example I gave you with the girl from Mobile, the big, big, the big bitch, and the nigga in Daphne, who has always had hoes, this has a, a issue, this like, you know what I'm saying, like, bitch, you already here, and let's talk about that shit. I'm not, but here it is, on Plenty of Fish, let me put this out there, on Plenty of Fish, you get a profile picture no different than on Facebook. And, of course, the nigga from Daphne should have known this hoe could easily not look like what the fuck she looked like in these pictures. But when a nigga desperate, he desperate, so fuck it. When she got to the fucking apartment, the hoe looked nothing like the fuck, the profile picture. She looked nothing like it. But you already here, I'm already, you know what I'm saying, nigga might have, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm telling y'all, sobriety, you high, you drunk, like, fuck it, I, I'm finna get me some head, find it. God damn. Aki, hold on, let me tell you what's going on first, man. Look, man, if you want to see me, Aki, Saki, over there on the couch and shit, and the rest of the Big Face Podcast crew, you make sure you come out there to Monrovia, Alabama, this Saturday, July 28th, we will be at the Hood, Texaco, on Claus Hill Road. Fucking with you. The time gonna be about 11 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? Out there, motherfucker, just hollering at y'all. No mics, no food out there, motherfucker. Just real topics. You know what I'm saying? Merchandise will be on the table. All the new shirts, all the new colors will be there. If you want to order your shirt before then, you can go to paypal.me forward slash RU Serious 10. Now, for all advertisers, all rappers, and anyone who wants to just donate and show love to the channel, you go to paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. And to all my advertising artists, y'all already know the deal. Don't hit me up until you're ready to promote. I can't do that. Y'all notice and recognize how many motherfuckers is now starting to make sure that they tell advertising and shit like that to fuck with them and shit. I started that. This is what real niggas do. We're innovative. Shit together, big homes. And come out there and fuck with me this Saturday. Love. I got you. When you got a rape first charge over your head, which holds life, life, my nigga, life. You have a rape charge that holds life, and you're seeing that the whole system is against you. Charlemagne at 22 years old is not the Charlemagne at 40 years old where he has money and resources, and we can fight anything that you want to bring up. Charlemagne at 22 years old is, is us right now. Like, nigga, if a charge come, you can't even ball yourself out. I understand that most of y'all don't understand the, the inner workings of a, you know what I'm saying, of a jail and, and, and money and bonds and shit like that and corporate assured and what the fuck 10% of, and half of 10% mean and all that good shit like that. I understand it. But please, this is what I'm telling you blogging niggas, please. If you ain't never seen nothing, if you ain't never been nowhere at all, please, dog. With all this laughing shit, this shit ain't no funny joke. Please. Cause you paint a goddamn picture that ain't nothing like that. I'm just telling you what's going on. If they, if it's a rape case, motherfuckers coming with life. I don't have no money. I'm in jail. I want to get out of jail. What can I, goddamn, like, just hit me. What you hit me with? All right, fuck, uh, uh, harassment. Uh, all right, just let me get out right now. Fuck that shit, man. I ain't do it, but goddamn, y'all trying to ban me. My lawyer just told me, because I got a court-appointed lawyer, because I don't have no fucking money, and he just fucking told me, if I don't, if I don't plead out right here, I'm probably going to lose the trial. And my lawyer, the one who represents me at trial, is telling me I'm going to lose the trial? Fuck that. Let me take this little shit right here. Get out of jail. I'm just going to stay out of trouble. Fuck this shit. This shit ain't right what y'all got going on, but I can't fight it. And I know that my fucking people are not going to stand with me. Because my people are so tuned in to the fucking TV and the news that if they say it, then they going to believe it. 
If the news say it, they going to believe it. Period, point blank. And that's the motherfucking corner that a community, the black community, puts a nigga in. None of these motherfuckers is going to stand with me. And that's, what, and that's what I feel like these motherfuckers is for. Social media is to make us anti-fucking social. Social media so that we don't have to deal with the hating motherfuckers around in Daphne and Baldwin County. I got fans all over the fucking world now. Fuck these niggas around here. But these are the motherfuckers that you're going to need if something go down. Like I told y'all about Flint, Michigan. If there's a nigga in Flint, Michigan that, that, that don't fuck with the motherfuckers in Flint, Michigan, when that water went bad, goddamn, imagine the time and life that may have been saved if them motherfuckers were connected like they should have been as a community. So all these issues are tangled up in one motherfucking issue. This ain't no goddamn laughing matter, my nigga. A rape first case can come from any fucking body for any fucking reason, my nigga. Do you not see what these hoes is doing? I want to say the powers that be are doing. These motherfuckers are giving these bitches that are... Nigga, we have a whole fucking phrase called hell has no fury like a woman scorned. How many bitches have you done wrong in your life? Have them hoes had their vengeance yet? Have their vengeance been exacted? Is she doing well in life? I guarantee you, every motherfucker that's coming forward on this bullshit like this here, their life is not the way they expected it to be and they need a scapegoat. So they pin it on, oh my God, my nigga, ho, oh, whoa, oh, bitch. I'm not the reason why your life is fucked up, ho. Your life is fucked up because this is the person that you are. You need to go back to your upbringing. Your life was fucked up far before you met me, and it was going to be cursed far after I left. This ain't no laughing matter. It's a lot of hoes that's fucked up, and they're going to be fucked up for the rest of their life. That's why we have to focus on the youth. Everybody over 20, 19 years old is already... It's already set. It's set in stone. They're not gonna make no change. They're gonna. They're not gonna make no changes in their life. It's not gonna be no changes made. They're gonna stay just the way they've been. We have to do something to the youth. So when you give these nothing ass bitches with these horrible ass life, you tell them at thirty years old, you know, uh, you know that nigga that left you for that other bitch. You know that nigga that left you for your sister, then dumped your sister two years later and got another bad bitch. Oh, you can fuck his life up now. Just say that he fucked you when you didn't want him to fuck. It don't matter if y'all was in a relationship or nothing. You can fuck a nigga up. Go say that he fucking raped you and we can destroy everything he has. No longer do you have to have a baby with a nigga to control his life. No longer do you have to goddamn have evidence that a nigga did you something. No. Come with your allegations and your well wishes and we will accept you. And we will do your bidding. Just come with open arms. And we will be the motherfucking exactor of your revenge. This is what the law is now saying. And if we don't stand now, if we don't stand now as men or as upright people, because it's not, in this Men Too movement, it's not just about men. It's about anybody who sees, anybody that has a brother, anybody that has a son, a nephew. A godson. And you don't want um, his life to be destroyed because now, even if he gets out of jail, he has to uh, register as a sex offender. If you don't want that to happen because you know how hoes is, because it, it was a day when you was a hoe, you know about them vengeance that you wanted to have on a nigga. If you don't want that to take place, you have to join the men to movement. You have to join the Me Too movement. We have to start a petition to end the Me Too movement. Because what they want to do is end men in general. Masculinity, there's a war on top of it. Don't get me started. I'm, let me back up. Let me get... Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I don't agree with... <clears throat> women being able to exact their revenge on a man simply because they're hurt. Pure point blank. 
whatever happened, there's a lot of stipulations that take place. There's a lot of circumstances and a lot of situations that you don't have the details to. You're not privy to. And you really need to keep that shit in mind when you're repeating these things. Pure point blank. Um, I'm not in support of Charlemagne in that situation is that situation. I really want you to apply this to the people in your community that this has happened to. Um, after your loved one has been convicted of a sex crime, convicted of a sex crime that had no physical evidence, they will have to, for the rest of their life, you know what they're going to have to do. Now, not only do they have to do what they have to do in legal sense, now you have to duck your head. The whole family is now shamed. And for what? A nothing ass bitch who has nothing going on. You know she's miserable. You know why she did it. And you females know why she did it. All of you females ain't bitches and all of you females ain't hoes. Neither are all you females bad people. But it's just like the police. If we want to hold them to a standard saying that all police ain't bad police, well, look, police officer, if you wanted the good ones, then what you would do is turn in the bad ones. That's something that we can all agree on. So, women, if you're one of the good ones, then step forward. Step forward. b Face Podcast, I'm A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. Make sure you hit the PayPal, and if you want to join the Men Too Movement, um, I will give you the details on that later on. You make sure you follow me um, on social media, and I'll be telling you about that very soon. Love.